Hi there, I'm Herman, and today I will be presenting you our ICAST 2022 paper, Deep Performer Score to Audio Music Performance Synthesis. And this is a joint work with Kong Zhao, Taylor Burke Factory, and Julia McAuley at Adobe Lab and UC San Diego. And this is a work that I did during an internship at Adobe. Cool. So um, in this work, we are working on a task called music performance synthesis. To be clear, it, our goal is to synthesize a natural performance from a musical score. And this is unlike, uh, so typically in traditional synthesizers, uh, those synthesizers require costly samples, basically recordings for each individual note. And also they do not model different playing styles and performative factors. So we are interested in whether we can advance music synthesis with deep learning in this work. Um, however, there are some challenges. So the first challenge is in the lack of pair training data. So it is hard to acquire pair data of musical scores and their recordings, even though it's easy to get a bunch of musical scores. And it's also easy to get their recordings, but it's hard to get this kind of pair data. And also we need to do additional, uh, we do need to make additional effort to align the scores to all the recordings. And the other challenge is, uh, is, the, is that music often contains poly, polyphony and long notes, which is different from um, typical text-to-speech synthesis. And so there are lots of uh, model available for speech synthesis. However, it's different from music. And so the model needs to uh, basically handle concurrent notes. And also we have to provide fine grain condition into the model so that the model can handle longer notes. And there are also several prior work on music synthesis. And from the very high level, we have the score and we will generate expressive timing for the score. And we will also have F0 curve and loudness curves. And then we go from here to spectrogram. And finally, we want the waveform output. And so different models have different input output pairs. And so ours are working on score to waveform generation. And there's also a parallel work called MIDI DDSV working on similar uh, task. And here's an, is a comparison with different prior work. So we are uh, the only one that uh, supports uh, on the line inputs. And we also support poly polyphonic inputs. And we are working on real recordings rather than uh, syn synthetic recordings. And again, MIDI DSB is a parallel work with ours. And it's in ICR 2022. OK, so next I will talk about the model that we propose. So here's a very high level overview of the model that the system that we propose. So it's basically a three stage system that consists of uh, an alignment model, a synthesized model, and an inversion model. So from the very beginning, we have the rose musical score, and then the alignment model would try to generate the expressive timing of the score, basically the onset and duration uh, for each node inside the row score. And then the synthesized model will take the expressive score as inputs and try to synthesize the male spectrogram frames. And finally, we will inverse uh, the male spectrogram back to the waveform. So first I will talk about the alignment model. So basically we want to predict the expressive timing for each node in a sequence of node inside the row score. So we propose to use a transformer network to, for this uh, particular task. And it only consists of uh, a transformer encoder only. So the input is uh, a sequence of nodes specified by its pitch, onset, duration, and velocity. And we also provide the performer ID and tempo class. 
so that the model has more information about what it's going to predict. For example, the, the timing, expressive timing depends a lot on the tempo you are playing and also like different performer have different styles in uh, interpreting the same piece. And the output for this model is basically the expressive onset and duration. And so here we are generating the frame number uh, in the male spectrogram. And the input node is on the score and those are uh, correspond to say quarter node, half nodes, but the output will be the actual um, like onset and duration in the unit of frame. So next we will talk about the synthesized model, which is the main part of this system. So here we take the expressive score, uh, we try to uh, generate the male spectrogram. So again, we are base, we base our model on a transformer network, and it's based on the fast speech model that is proposed for text-to-speech uh, synthesis or TTS. And again, we have the input as a sequence of nodes specified by its pitch, onset, duration, and velocity. And we also have performer ID and tempo class. And now the question is that the problem is that our output is a mouse spectrogram and the input is a sequence of nodes. So there is a misalignment between them. So in addition to um, the trans typical transformer encoder decoder, we need additional uh, model in between for the alignment from a sequence of node to a sequence of male spectrogram frames. So I will talk about the polyphonic mixer, which serve as the uh, alignment process and also the no wise positional encoding. So these are the two main like proposed mechanism in this paper. So the first is the polyphonic mixer. So in uh, fast speech, we have the state expansion mechanism and that only works for monophonic inputs because speech are monophonic. Unlike music, we might have polyphonic inputs. So basically uh, the polyphonic mixer takes into the, a, a sequence of node embeddings uh, as the outputs of the encoder. And since we have the onset and durations produced by the alignment model, uh, we can take this information and try to uh, mix basically mix up the node embedding at each time step to get the, uh, the frame embedding output for the decoder. Um, and also because we are working, uh, music might have like long nodes. Uh, so it's, um, it's better if we could have this information, um, for example, like, um, the model needs to know which position we are in in generating the note. So the model should act differently at the beginning of the note and at uh, different should be different from how it uh, acts at the end of the note. So with this new node-wise positioning coding, basically we can provide positional information within each note so that the model has a fine-grained conditioning on which part of the node that we are currently working on. And finally, we have the inversion model, which basically uh, invert the male spectrogram back to waveform. And this is a classic problem in uh, signal processing domain. And so we simply use the hi-fi gain model um, uh, it, it's based on generated adversarial networks and it worked quite well on this uh, male spectrogram inversion problem. So we just use it uh, as it is. Um, for the data, uh, since there aren't many uh, data sources that we have, so we built a new data set called Bach Violin Datasets. So it consists of 6.7 hours of box sonatas and partitas for solo violin. Uh, and they are all high quality studio uh, recordings freely available online. And this data set is available here. 
And we also try to derive the alignment between the uh, recordings and the scores. So basically, we synthesize the scores using a free software synthesizer, and then we run dynamic time warping on the spectrograms of the recording and the synthesized audio. And so the alignment result, as you can see here, is really nice. And we also open source the code uh, at this address. Now, uh, we have some experiments and our results. So here's some implementation details of our model. So I won't go into detail, but uh, we are working on mono uh, 16K Hertz audio. And yeah. And so here's some demo of our model. So first we'll listen to the violin, uh, synthesized violin. So at the bottom, we have the input score and at top we have the male spectrum. So let's listen to it. Yeah, so as you can hear that there are clear polyphony at the middle of the, the song. And also, we also train the same model on uh, an existing Maestro data set. So it's a piano data set. It's a large, huge uh, piano data set connected from uh, a famous piano, uh, e-piano uh, competition. So this is the synthesized result. Yeah, so as you can hear that, uh, there are clear, um, you know, polyphon polyphony structure and also the harmonic structure. And we also compare our performance to a baseline. Uh, it's a hi-fi gain baseline, uh, which we just simply condition the hi-fi gain model with piano row input. So this would be ours. And this would be the hi-fi game baseline. And also we have an evaluation study uh, to see how effective is the no-wise positional encoding. And as we can observe in this comparison that um, we can see clear, uh, much better um, pitch contour when we enable node-wise positional encoding and the node boundaries between uh, the two uh, adjacent nodes are clearer when we enable node-wise positional encoding. So most samples are available on our demo website here. And finally, we have a subjective listening test where um, we can see on the violin data set, uh, our proposed model uh, achieve uh, comparative uh, performance to the hi-fi game baseline. And on the piano data set, uh, we are significantly uh, outperforming the baseline. So there are some future work that we would like to work on. So the first is that we want to model expressions like dynamic tempo phrasing articulation available on the scores. And we also want to model different playing styles. So currently we are using Perform ID, but uh, we could, for example, uh, try to build a um, latent variable model to handle the different playing styles. We also see that like the hi-fi gain model, uh, hi-fi gain baseline are able to um, generate very uh, sharp uh, synthesized audio. So, we would like to incorporate adversarial losses to improve the sharpness of the synthesized audio. And there are some promising results in speech synthesis. So we might want to uh, go toward that direction. So to conclude, uh, we've presented a new three-stage system for music performance synthesis. And we propose two mechanisms for a transformer model so that the model can handle polyphonic inputs and we also provide a fine-grained conditioning for handling longer notes. 
and we show the effectiveness of the proposed deep performance model that we outperforms the baseline model on the piano data set and we achieve competitive quality on the violin data set. So thank you and you can like learn more information on this our demo website. Thank you.